Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, it is pizza night. And so Howard and I both did our own individual pizzas. So this is the crust that I am using. HEB is a grocery store that's here in Texas. Um, this is a two pack of crust. I'm using one. It is ultra thin and crispy. Um, they have a thin and crispy and then they have an ultra thin. So this is kind of like a cracker crust. So of course I've got my sauce on there and we are using this sauce. I've got cheese, red onions, pepperoni, and then I didn't have any fresh basil, but I did have this. Um, let me try to show it to you. Gourmet Garden, and this is what it looks like. It is a lightly dried basil, and it comes in the refrigerated section. Um, but Howard's Pizza is in the oven right now, so I will show you his once it comes out. Okay, so this is Howard's Pizza, and he is using this flat bit, flat bread crust um, from Aldi. We both really like it a lot. So he has um, just shredded mozzarella cheese or pizza cheese. And then he has fresh mozzarella on top, the red onion sauce, of course, and pepperoni. And he also used onion powder and garlic powder. So this is what we are having tonight, homemade pizzas. And we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled um, baby back ribs that I had in my freezer. And I actually uh, smoked them on my charcoal grill, so you see that nice smoke ring right there. So I seasoned the ribs with this Japanese barbecue sauce, so um, sorry, Japanese barbecue seasoning from Kinders, and it is really very good. And then for the sauce, I used this Bibigo Korean barbecue marinade that I use a lot on our channel. And it um, has a really nice savory Asian flavor. It's so good. I made some collard greens and I will record a video on how I make my collard greens. And then I just doctored up a box of macaroni and cheese. I have made this on our channel many, many times. I'll link the recipe in the description box. But you just use a box of the um, um, macaroni and cheese, the kind with the cheese packet, the squeezed cheese. And then to that, you just prepare it according to package directions. To that, you add a half a cup of sour cream. And then the recipe calls for one cup of cheese added in and then also um, sprinkled on top. I use more than that. I use about a cup of cheese um, added in to the macaroni and cheese, and then I just sprinkle a cup on top or any type of cheese that you want, and then you just bake it for about 20 minutes or until that cheese melts. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying a recipe that I initially tried probably a year or more than a year ago. It's a speedy sausage and black eyed pea skillet. So in my skillet, I browned one pound of breakfast sausage. And to that, I added one chopped de-seeded jalapeno pepper and a half a cup of um, onions. And what you just saw me add was just one can of black eyed peas. And the recipe says that you should drain the back black eyed peas, which is what I did last time, but I felt like it was too dry. So this time around, I just added in the juice right along with the peas. And then I'm going to season it with a little bit of onion powder and also some garlic powder. I'm not gonna worry about adding in any salt because that sausage has plenty of salt. So all I'm gonna do is just stir this up really well and then I'm gonna cover and cook this for about maybe half an hour because I do want those peas to get nice and soft. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I'm serving mine over some basmati rice. If I didn't mention it, I'll make sure to put the recipe in the description box. The recipe doesn't mention this, but it's really important to let those peas simmer down with that meat. So I let mine simmer for about 35 minutes and they're nice and tender 
and serving some um, cornbread on the side, just some good old Jiffy cornbread that I had in my pantry. And if you're not a fan of black eyed peas, this would really be good with um, black beans and also pinto beans as well. Really quick and easy weeknight dinner. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads and I am using this meat that I picked up from HEB a while back ago when it was on sale. Um, and it is really very good. It's already diced and seasoned. Um, it's chicken thighs chopped up and it's seasoned with hatch and jalapeno green chilies. They have different flavors. But like I said, I bought it on sale a while back ago. I couldn't beat the deal and I just stuck it in my freezer until now. But I wanted to show you how I make my version of a quick and easy Mexican rice. So in my saucepan here, I have about three tablespoons of oil and about, I don't know, less than a half a cup of onions. To that, I just added some jasmine rice. It's one cup of jasmine rice. I'm just going to stir it around just a little bit. Okay, so the rice has gotten a little bit brown. To that, I'm adding one packet of this Mia Rose. I found this at Walmart. You can find it at other places too. I think I've even seen it at the Dollar Tree. But each box comes with four little packets. Um, and so that's what I'm adding in right now. Now, if you happen not to have Mia Rose, I have also used this. It is really good. Um, it's nor bouillon. It has chicken and tomato flavor all in one, and it's really good. So if I don't have the little packets, then I use two teaspoons of this bouillon, and it is so good. And then after that, you're just going to add the rice needed for your, um, the water needed for your rice. And you're just going to give it a good stir and cover and let the rice simmer until it's cooked. Okay, so everything is ready to be assembled. Let me show you the rice. Here it is, nice and fluffy. I also made some refried beans and added some cheese on top. Here is the chicken. And it is really very good, like I said. And then here are our taco salad shells. And this is the brand of taco um, salad shells that I use and if you've been with our channel for a while you know i talk about these things all the time my mom started making them when i was younger or buying them i should say when i was younger and so i have continued the tradition they're just super hard to find now um, but here they are and they just bake in the oven on a little former that comes with them very easy to make i did kind of over bake them just a little bit but let us get our taco salad um, assembled and then I'll show you how it all turns out okay so I've got everything all plated up this is Howard's plate he has everything on there and he added salsa cheese and sour cream this is uh, my plate I have everything as well not as much as he does but I've got everything on there except for sour cream so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these sirloin steaks. I have these in my freezer. I got these on sale from Kroger a while back ago and I've actually made them on my channel before, but I couldn't beat this deal. You get two sirloin steaks for $2.88, can't beat that. So I do remember last time that I didn't really feel like these steaks had a lot of flavor. So I am going to be using this five pepper, five salt seasoning from Adams. My cousin told me about this seasoning and he likes to grill and cook. And he said this is one of his go-tos. So I am going to be trying um, out the seasoning on the steak tonight. So I will be back once I get everything all plated up. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Here is the steak and it looks absolutely delicious. Serving it with a side of fresh broccoli that I stir fried and a baked potato that I made in the air fryer. I always bake my potatoes in the air fryer for an hour at um, 400 degrees and it's perfect every time. There is some butter that's already melted into the potato, some salt and a little bit of sour cream. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.